Hi, brother teacher here. Do you know one of the greatest gifts that I have ever given to myself and subsequently to my family? And that is the confidence in knowing that I have a reasonable ability to protect myself and or my family. If it comes down to it. I've been studying and training in the arts, uh, the pugilism arts, if you will, for the majority of my life. I've studied martial arts, in other words, for 46 years now. Never did I ever realize the full benefit of studying martial arts outside of the discipline, outside of the competitions, and outside of the, the glory that you receive, so to speak. One of the greatest gifts that the martial arts has ever given to me was that of self-confidence. Not to say that you can't naturally have that from some degree, uh, be it environmental or otherwise. But martial arts has greatly contributed to my self-confidence throughout my life. And for this, I am grateful. And in addition to that, being in the military. The military just basically added the icing on the cake. I learned how to have more respect and dignity for my self and my country through the military. I am indeed a patriot. But you know what I am also? I'm a father. I'm a husband. I'm a brother. I'm a martial arts instructor and I'm a friend of many. And I'm sure that most of those that hold me dear in their hearts wouldn't want anything to happen to me as I would not to them. So what I'm saying to you today, this can be deemed as a public announcement. Have you been assaulted, molested, or raped? Have you been attacked? Have you been a victim of domestic violence, either male or female? And you found yourself helpless, not knowing what to do, only having to wait until a second responder showed up, the police, fire department, or whomever, maybe emergency medical. Did you have to be rushed to the hospital because you were in critical condition? Are you afraid because you have never ever really experienced a violent encounter or attack against your person? Has someone in your family been victimized? What are you waiting for? Yes, I know we are in the day and age where people use guns a lot. And some people might want to use as an excuse, you know, you can't fight a gun. That's not completely true. I'm not uh, encouraging anyone to go out and try to defend themselves against someone wielding a gun. But there is a science to self-defense, to fighting to protecting yourself. There's a science. It's a science to everything in life. And the reason people are so skeptical and the reason people are so nonchalant in their approach to taking up some form of self-defense is because they watch too much television. They don't truly embody or understand what it's all about. That is based on physics. It's based on psychology, understanding the other individual in front of you that you are encountered with. You know, a few years ago, I was in a friend's store helping him out. He had another one of his friends in there and his store was robbed at gunpoint while I was there. I had been told for years, brother teacher, since I owned a convenience store at that particular time, one of my police officer friends that is told me, he said, you are to start carrying a gun in your store. I sort of sloughed it off. Uh, with the uh, mindset or the idea that, you know, most people that came in the store, they knew me that not really thinking that it would happen to me, but I just put it on the back burner. But fast forward 15, 20 years and 2009 in my friend's store, Someone bust in, mask, hood, wielding a gun, a very large caliber gun, I might add. Was I afraid? Not at all. 
That was the result of my training, both military, martial arts, and my spiritual belief. I had no fear whatsoever, but I did have respect for the fact that the man did have a weapon that could take my life and the lives of those that were in that store. So I finally took my police officer friend's advice from many years prior, and I began to start gun training. Not that I have not had training in the military, which I had, but so that I could have a concealed license to carry. And to this very day, I'm a proud owner of a concealed carry permit. But let's not stop there. What if it's a situation where the person doesn't have a gun? What would you do? What if this was placed at your throat or your back? Would you know what to do? This is a knife and a very sharp knife. It can take your life just as a gun. What would you do if this, and this is real, and you were faced with this? What would you do? Panic? Give up? I do have some realistic answers for you. Some of you know, and for those of you who don't know, coming up July the 15th here in Cincinnati, Ohio, I will be conducting the Jen and Doe Martial Arts Championships at the Evanston Recreation Center on Woodburn Avenue. It begins at 11 o'clock in the morning. The cost for you as a participant in a self-defense class that lasts an hour is $10. That's all. I could charge more, but I am concerned about you. If it's five people that show up for that particular segment of that event that day, fine. There's five people who I have helped to enable defend themselves. If 20 people show up or 30 people, that's wonderful as well because I have do been doing martial arts for the majority of my life. I know what I'm talking about. I am an expert at what I do. I haven't been doing this 46 years for nothing. And many of you watching this already know me. You know my capability. You know my strong set. I am a teacher through and through. So I'm appealing to you today. Take an hour out of your day and go smash that piggy bank. Stop buying McDonald's. Go pull out that debit card and bring $10 on July the 15th, which happens to also be my birthday. We will also be celebrating the memory of the late, great Bruce Lee, because this is the month of the anniversary of his death, July the 20th. But skipping past that, I'm talking about you right now. Do you want to have confidence when you leave your home, when you're going to your car, when you're walking outside of a convenience store, when you're going to an ATM, when you're walking and strolling on the fall evening, anywhere, would you like to have the confidence in knowing that you're able to protect yourself or at least that you have enough tools where you don't have to get beat up and hospitalized? Wouldn't you want to have that confidence? Well, I can give you a comprehensive approach to self-defense on July the 15th. All I need you to do is come. So what are you waiting for? Is your life important to you? Don't you want to be around to see your family for the next several decades? Consider this. Before you go out to that concert that day or that evening, before you go out to the movies or the show, think about your life. Someone every, every single day in America and in the world is being raped or molested, being assaulted, they're being robbed. Every single day, every single few seconds, someone is being victimized by someone else. Every single moment. And when you see it on the news, you say, well, I'm happy that it's not me. 
but that person did experience it. How are you to know with confidence that one day it won't be you? So take some advice from me. Invest in yourself today and your family and take a martial arts or a self-defense class. If this sounds like something that you would like to, to do and that you're interested in, I'll see you July 15th at the Evanston Recreation Center, 3204 Woodburn Avenue. Come about a half an hour early so you can register and you will never, ever regret that you undertook this journey, okay? This is Brother Teacher, and as I always say, Yahweh love you, and I love you, and I'll see you in the future.